Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More questions coming at you from the Ask Golf Guru mobile app for iPad, iPhone, Android. This is the Q&A channel, not the other channel that you might have seen me on. We've got a question here from Steve. Let's get stuck in. So here we go on the Q&A channel. Hi, Mark, great vids, thanks. It seems that all the new drivers coming out say less spin, more loft. But if you only have a swing speed of nine miles an hour, don't you need the spin to get the ball to stay in the air? My current driver is a Nike VRS, not the Covert. Is it worth thinking of changing? Not a long hitter, so any extra would be good. Any recommendations for that swing speed would be great, uh, would be great, full. Okay, cheers from Steve. Right, Steve. Interesting question. Um, you're right, if you've got a slower swing speed, you do need certain amounts of spin to keep the ball up in the air. With all custom fitting with drivers in any club, it's about matching launches with club head speeds with spin. It's, there's, a, there's matches of those. So as the club head speed goes down, definitely launch up and spin down but can stay up to a certain extent as well different to someone who's hitting much harder like you're suggesting there um, the advertising campaign of loft up which is Taylor made advertising campaign definitely is slightly misleading the reason their driver needs loft up for people to gain more distance is the cg is really low and forward so it's a very low spinning driver so you're going to need to loft it up to get the ball launching with those low spins um, if you take something like my covert, um, or say that I had a, hit one of the coverts, there's a new version of yours, not at all the other one, I needed a loft down to get that to perform the way I needed to to fit into the distances I hit. So it's it's very much specific to the club. It doesn't apply to all clubs. That is an advertising campaign built around one club with quite an extreme um, kind of CG placement, if you like. Um, Drivers that beat your driver, tricky question. Definitely go and get a custom fit and try a few. There's loads of good drivers out there. G25 is one of the best performing. Titleist 913 D2 would perform well for you. Um, try the new Nike Covert as well, 2.0, not the tall version. I'd go more with a standard one, possibly with your club head speed. Go and see a fitter. They'll give you loads of good ideas of which one. Well, not only... Um, work best with your club head speed but will work best with your launch numbers as well subject to dynamic loft delivered hitting down hitting up these kind of things quality of strike so many factors in there get on a decent launch one like gc2 hmc get a fit you'll see the numbers and if this club is going further or not or if yours is still a very good performing club for you thanks for the question thanks for buying the app hope that helps and uh look forward to seeing the comments so if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.